walk into a local popular entertainment spot in Buruburu Estate, his demeanor tense as he has not been to such a place for four months since he bumped into the wrong people where he had gone to join his friends for a drink. Still traumatized by the event, we promise him anonymity as he still fears for his security. On arrival to the restrooms, I remember getting in, uh, but I do not have any recollection of uh, leaving the restrooms. Turns out that he lost two days during which he does not remember what happened to him. So that was on a Saturday. Fast forward to when I regained my memory again. That was on uh, Monday. I found myself walking in uh, Nairobi's Umoja estate. He didn't recognize where he was at first. Everything took time to become clear as he became oriented with reality. My physical uh, appearance was not wanting but uh, I was very hungry and I still had uh, alcohol breath a taste of liquor on on in my mouth yes on social media friends and loved ones had started a search for him his family even going to the city mortuary and major hospitals with the hope of finding him either dead or alive. He finally made it home to Buruburu and that's when he found out that he lost more than the valuables he had on him. He found that two ATM withdrawals had been done on Saturday shortly after midnight and on, Saturday, on Sunday in the, in the afternoon hours. These ATM withdrawals led the police to identify the suspects, though no arrests have been made so far, at least to the best of the victim's knowledge. That you may have your drinks spiked in a pub is a known fact, so criminals who use this tool to rob you have devised other methods, meaning danger is all around us. So which drugs are these? They are in the class of the benzodiazepines, and these are drugs we use to treat anxiety. They are drugs we use even to sedate people who are anxious. There are drugs we even used for people who are lacking sleep, what we call insomnia, so that they can be able to sleep. Early this year, a woman was found confused in Dandora, barely dressed. Her effort to explain to the crowd that gathered being received with anger as some of the area residents hurled insults at her. She could have been a victim of dragging, but society's little tolerance of drunkards denied her the help she may have needed. People have actually made that in form of spray such that you can even be offered a newspaper to read. And then as you read the newspaper, you just sleep and you don't realize. And they rob you or you find yourself in a place you didn't expect to find yourself. Taxi drivers tell us that this is a normal occurrence, especially during the weekend. To a surprise, they reveal that they too have suffered the same fate after being forced to take unknown concussions that make them drowsy and vulnerable. <laughs> Sasa inafika mahali unaona eh anakuambia sasa fanya hivi mambo ni mawili. We ujue ni kidini utameza ndawa gani hapa eh? Umeze hii ama umeze hadi sasa. Unaona sasa inakubidi umeze hiyo. So the next time you go out remember that walking in numbers reduces the chances of you falling prey to such criminals. Chaito Werumwangi for News at 8.